Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis. Welcome to 60 Seconds. Don't drink the water. Most tap water is toxic. Almost all Americans are drinking water that is toxic and harmful to their health. You know, start with the chlorine and the fluoride and the other chemicals used in the water treatment. Then factor in agricultural runoff, industrial pollution, firefighting foam, aging water pipes, and prescription drugs that are flushed down the toilet, and you end up with a toxic cocktail. A 2011 Harvard Health letter warned that pharmaceutical pollution is now showing up in aquatic life with estrogen and hormone mimicking chemicals having a feminizing effect on male fish. Some of the chemicals in tap water are regulated, but even then the limits are far too lenient for safety. Most are completely unregulated and they are bioaccumulating in earthworms and fish and birds, not to mention bioaccumulating in us, wrecking havoc with the entire ecosystem. Fish and other wildlife are clearly demonstrating the effects of out-of-control water pollution, and so are we. One example is how fluoridated water has been demonstrated to damage the brain. A 2013 study in environmental health concluded that communities with fluoridated water had the highest incidence of ADHD. This study is right in line with animal studies done at the Forsyth Institute showing that rats exposed to fluoride in the womb were much more likely to be hyperactive later in life. Studies show that children with moderate to severe fluorosis, that's a staining of the teeth caused by fluoride, have lower IQs. The FDA has reported that most homes in the United States have measurable levels of chloroform gas that outgasses from the chlorinated water being used. Chlorine will vaporize from every toilet bowl and every time you open a faucet, wash your clothes or your dishes, or take a shower or a bath. Chlorine has been associated with high risk of asthma and airway inflammation and respiratory allergies. The truth is that filtering your household water has become a necessity that can no longer be ignored. I solved this problem by having a whole house filter that removes chlorine and hydrocarbons at the point of entry into the house. And then a reverse osmosis filter under the kitchen sink to remove the fluoride and other remaining contaminants. Since most water sources are now heavily polluted, if you care about your health, I strongly recommend that you do something similar to filter the water in your home.